welcome to David's Closet. This is future David. The video you're about to see, I actually filmed it about a week ago, um, but I wanted to insert this in here, and then there's gonna be something towards the end that you need to keep your eye out for. We hit the benchmark of 500 subscribers. Yay. Super duper excited about that. Um, been very, very, very patiently waiting for that number to hit, and now we're targeting for 1,000. So as promised, I am going to do a giveaway now that we've hit 500 subscribers, and let me show you real quickly what that is. So here it is in this lovely little bag. And I hope that this is fun and I hope people will enjoy these items. The first is, this is a pre-loved item. This is something that I have used a few times. It's a Kate Spade Stacy Long Wallet, I believe is what it's called. And it's in this beautiful nude black trim, gold hardware, gold zipper. And then inside, it's the Jacquard and a leather trimmed combination. It has a zipper compartment, card slots, and a cash slot. Beautiful wallet. I just don't have anything it goes with. Um, as far as condition goes, and we know the quality of Kate Spade sometimes. There's just a couple of, you know, not frayed stitches, but a little, you know, a little spot that looks maybe a little funky, but here is this beautiful leather wallet. I'm also giving away in the same care package, this beautiful coach monogram, word corner zip i use my mine just like it with my gucci ophidia tote um, inside it has the tag of course card slots and all of that so these are the items that i'm giving away for you guys getting me to 500 subscribers so if you want to be entered to win so now i'm gonna you're gonna go to the regularly scheduled video and then after that we'll come back here and um, I'll tell you what you need to do. Today's video is a tag. I was tagged by Ed Braun, and it's your five most viewed bags on your channel. Um, I think it's five most used luxury bags, and I'm considering all of my bags luxury for this. Um, and this was actually a really interesting tag. I'm kind of glad that I was tagged in it. Well, I'm always glad I'm tagged in it, but I, this is a great video. I've kind of wanted to do something like this for a while. If you see me kind of looking off to the side, I have my laptop propped up with some details behind the camera so I can be honest and not lie because <laughs> I hate when I accidentally say something wrong and then I have to put a comment below like, whoops, actually it's this. So I have that propped up there. Um, I also have all of the bags and reference here. Um, so the tag, of course, is your five most viewed bags on your channel. I did six, and the reason why is several of my bags I no longer own. And that's actually a great segue into this realization that I had. So as I was looking through, I assumed my top viewed would be my most expensive bags, my Chanel's, my Goyard's, my Louis Vuitton's, my Prada's, things of that nature. And... That was actually not the truth. That was not the case. And I am gonna go through and watch all the other people who've done this video um, because I wanna see what their tags are like. Um, a lot of mine are my contemporary, more affordable or obtainable luxury brands like Coach, Kate Spade, things of that nature. Um, and I kind of thought, why? And I'm wondering if it's because since those items are more attainable, people who are searching videos for handbags, trying to get ideas, reviews, you know, get inspiration for a handbag purchase, those bags definitely sell easier and probably in higher quantities because they're much more affordable as opposed to Louis Vuitton, Prada, things of that nature. So that's probably why more people are searching coach handbags on YouTube than Louis Vuitton. I just thought that was an interesting realization. Um, I'd like to know your thoughts on it below as to why you think maybe um, you know, more of my views are my contemporary bags versus my super luxury bags. Okay, so I'm going to start from number six, since I'm doing six videos with the most views and highlighting the bag in the video. Um, the first one is um, one that I was actually really surprised about. This video had 1,231 views, and that actually is a super luxury brand. This is my Louis Vuitton's Louis Vuitton's, Louis Vuitton, Saia, Salia, however you say it, um, PM. Um, and this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I know I've done a couple of videos on it. You've seen it highlighted in several videos. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bags because it's so different than any other bag. 
Also not gonna go into a ton of detail on these bags because you can watch my videos where I review these, but I will go ahead and just open it up and show you. Here, it's, all of these are packed for storage, so you'll be able to see that. I have an organizer that I got off of Amazon. I actually purchased it for a different bag and it didn't fit in that bag, but it actually helped this bag hold a little bit of structure, so I definitely like that. And then some air paper and of course a charcoal pack. And this has like the velvety um, micro suede um, lining inside. Um, this bag is vintage. I believe this bag was from 2007. Um, absolutely love it, but very surprised that this was in my top six. Um, and I think it's probably because it's such a unique bag and you do see them quite frequently on the pre-love sites and they've gone up since I bought this one, but they used to be well under a thousand. Um, you know, this one was in perfect condition. Unfortunately, I fell once in the snow and scratched up the piping a little bit, so it's not now. But this one was in brand new condition when I purchased it about a year and a half, two years ago. And that concept of time was all off, so it could have been more. Um, and I paid, I think, $8.75 for it. So that was the top of the price range. Now I've definitely seen them listed over a thousand, but I'm thinking because people who want to get into Louis Vuitton but don't want to spend all the money, you know, this would be a great option, even at right at a thousand, twelve hundred dollars for a really good quality, really unique, spacious, and versatile bag. Great bag. That is a bag that will never ever leave my collection. Number five, with 1626 views, it's a coach bag. And this one is not a surprise to me because I know this is a really, really popular coach bag. And that is my Coach Rogue 25. Um, I absolutely love this bag. You guys know the layout. I have several videos on it as well. They'll be linked below. It has the two exterior pockets, the double zipper, and the really unique shape. And then inside, it comes with several strap options. Um, it's a textile lining on the inside of this. The inside of the exterior pockets are suede. Um, and then of course I have a charcoal pack and some stuffing in there. Um, absolutely love this bag. I do carry this bag fairly frequently. I think this is probably my most used coach bag. If I were to go through and ever document that, just absolutely love it. And again, I think this is probably one of my most viewed because A, it's an iconic bag from Coach. This is not an outlet bag, so this is a boutique bag. This is one of their premium bags. This bag, you know, is one of those that rivals the luxury brands and in some configurations and special editions are priced well up there with the luxury brands. I believe when I bought this, it was just under 600, maybe 550. I'm not quite sure of the exact price, but now I do know that they're over 600, I think, for this size. And I've seen them well up into the thousands. I'm not sure if he sold it, but Touch Jean has a special edition one for sale that he paid over a thousand for when he purchased it new from the boutique. So I do think that's probably why it's a really popular bag. If you want something that's more luxurious than, you know, your typical, and again, nothing wrong with them. I love them as well. I don't own a lot of them, but I think a lot of them are very pretty. But the outlet bags that are more mass produced, not that this isn't, but you know, especially where I live, we have an outlet and two boutiques and you see outlet bags everywhere. You see the same one everywhere. And if you want something a little bit more um, original, something a little bit less, you know, all over the place, this is a great option. So again, I think people probably search a video like this because this is a really affordable higher end bag. Okay, number four. This one has 2013 views. And um, this is my Coach Pillow Tabby. And this one is probably one of my all-time favorite bags. I don't carry it a lot, but I just think it's so fun. It's so pretty. I It's underrated AF. <laughs> I love it. Um, to me, this is kind of a bag that would go along, as far as style-wise, goes along with the Fendi Baguette. Um, it's very baguette-like, um, maybe some of the Chanel bags. I know the new uh, quilted tabby, Autumn Beckman and Winnie B. LV unboxed theirs recently and I'll link their channels and videos below. Um, Autumn got one, I don't remember the sizes, but she didn't get the biggest one. I think she got like the medium one and it actually has the chain uh, leather strap, just very similar to Chanel that comes out at the top 
And to me, that bag looks more like a Chanel because of the strap detail and the quilting. Um, but Winnie got the, I think the wristlet version, which is a little smaller, and it just has straps like this that detach on the sides. And that one to me is more baguette vibes. So the straps really do make the difference. That's the thing I love about Coach and Coach bags in general. My Rogue, I think, came with the like three strap options. The top handle, you have the shoulder straps that can attach on either side. And then you also, also I think, have a crossbody strap. I could be making that up. Maybe I have another strap from somewhere, but very versatile. This one also comes with a shoulder strap, which is very baguette. And then it also comes with a crossbody strap. They're all safely tucked inside. Um, this is how I store it. I don't need any filler or paper in this one. And the coaching tag is also stored inside. Um, I'm going to have to find a charcoal pack to put in there. I do like to have those in all of my bags when they're in storage, um, just to prevent any accidental damage. But I love this bag. And I, this is also the bigger tabby. This isn't the small, the 19. I think this is the 28 or something, 26. Um, but again, I think this bag is a great affordable alternative to a lot of those other luxury brands like the Baguette, the Chanel's. And for being a more novelty style bag, being the super puffy quilted version, or not quilted, but the puffy version, again, they have puffy baguettes, they have puffy Chanel bags, but you're talking five, six thousand dollars for a novelty bag or five, six hundred dollars. So I think that this is probably more searched and more watched because it's a lot more attainable and affordable for a fun evening bag. All of those things. Love this bag, guys. So my next video, um, I only have one of the bags. There were actually two bags featured. And this was my Coach, or not Coach, this was my Chanel Grand Shopping Tote in black with silver hardware. And I compared it to the Kate Spade Natalia quilted leather tote. And I'll throw a picture of the thumbnail up here and maybe a picture of the, the Kate Spade bag because I have sold my Kate Spade bag and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but the Kate Spade bag was a great alternative to the Chanel tote, guys. I don't want anyone to think that it wasn't. It, it absolutely was. Um, you know, if you don't want to spend the money on a Chanel Grand Shopping tote, which I don't blame you, they are absurdly expensive um, and hard to find in really good condition because of their age. Um, but it was a great, great alternative. It had the super heavy, chunky chain. I really liked that. It wasn't quite Chanel. Chanel is the leather weave through the lighter metal chain, but I liked the chunky chain. It was a very similar size and shape and interior configuration. Um, but here is my black grand shopping tote. Um, she's of course stored, so we're not gonna go into too much detail on her. And there's a lot of videos on this, but I just have air paper. I keep the organizer. This one has the Zumani organizer. And um, I also have um, some charcoal packs and more stuffing in there. These bags, of course, are my absolute babies because they're so expensive, so hard to find, and I just love them so much. I love it. Um, but I absolutely love this bag. So I'm gonna put her down here. I don't like to handle these too much when I'm not carrying them. So why I think that bag video was probably one of my most viewed or was viewed so many times is simply because it's comparing something that's not as affordable to something that's very affordable. That Kate Spade Natalia tote ranged anywhere from about 125 to 189 is kind of where I always saw them fall. I think I purchased mine for closer to 125 when I bought mine, whereas the Chanel tote was just under $3,000. So complete different price points. And maybe someone who wants a GST, who was really dreaming of one, you know, was looking at alternatives. What are some more affordable options? And they found a video that compares them. So I think that definitely helps, again, just having that more affordable item attached to a video really, really helps. Oh, and that video had 2,549 views. I don't know if I said that yet. Um, number two is my Kate Spade Margot's, and I no longer have those, so I'll throw a picture of the video, and maybe if I can find some thumbnails of just the bags in general, but I had the medium size, which was very small. The sizing of those bags is so confusing. Um, and the medium size, I had it in like the taupe color, but it was just gray. There really wasn't any brown tones. It was a gray bag. Um, and then I had the large size, which was the more better size for me in the black leather. Um, and it had the pink like interior or the mauve, you know, nude color interior. Um, these bags were great. They were very well sized, well shaped, you know, 
The configuration was really nice. Um, one of them I purchased on clearance through the website, the Kate Spade Boutique, and then the second one I actually got at the outlet in their little reserve section um, at my local store. Um, I paid, I think, $160 for the gray small um, or gray medium that I bought through the boutique, and I think I paid about $115 for the black Marco. I sold the black one and I did gift the gray one to my mother-in-law. She seemed to really like the bag. It seemed to really fit her style. So I thought that was a great way to pass that love on because I knew that she wouldn't get the love in my closet. She was gorgeous, but bags need to be loved. So I was super glad that I hadn't really carried the bag. So I was able to gift it to her. Um, and then the black one, like I said, I sold it and I actually sold it for a little bit more than I paid for it on Poshmark. So that was kind of a nice surprise for me as well. Um, again, these are really affordable bags. They're very popular. They were being discontinued. So I'm sure that that sparked people to think, oh, are these bags worth buying? Because they were popping up on discount sites. Um, I'm sure other stores that carried Kate Spade, you know, like Dillard's, Nordstrom's, things like that. I'm sure they probably were marking theirs down. So people were searching those videos. I want to see more about this bag. This bag is super affordable. It's very attractive. All of those things. Number one with 3,878 views. And this one at first absolutely shocked me until I sat back and I thought about it realistically. And I'm going to show you the bag first. So obviously it's a coach bag. It's my Tate Carry All 29 in the black leather with gold hardware. Now this bag has the same exact configuration as the Rogue. I'm not going to open it, but the straps are all stored in there with some truckle packs. Um, the only difference is the exterior pockets on the Tate are the textile not the suede like the robe. So this bag, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I say it and I'll say it again. This bag screams Hermes in my mind. It's very Hermes-like. Um, it's kind of a mix between a Birkin and Kelly structure and beauty. I also get some Fendi peekaboo vibes sometimes. Um, absolutely beautiful bag. Well-constructed bag. You know, it has that super soft, shiny leather. Or not shiny, kind of shiny leather. Um, the patinas, um, it has some veining in it, especially in the back there. Um, this bag is just really, really pretty. And I think one of the reasons this bag actually got so many views compared to my others is this bag I actually pre-ordered, waited, and had delivered during the release of this bag. So Coach Enthusiast, just like any brand, if there's a new bag released at Chanel or Louis Vuitton, People are searching that bag. So if you see a video and you're like, hey, that's a bag I want, you're going to watch the video. So I think that one was a really, really tied to timing. And I'm glad because that bag is great. And I really hope I helped some people make the decision before Coach went and discontinued it like a year later, which was very sad. But I do love that bag and I don't see myself getting rid of that one. I don't carry it. I'll be honest, very often at all. Um, it's very, I hate to say this, but it's very feminine and it's very um, formal feeling. So I don't wear it a lot. Just like my um, Prada Galleria medium tote, I don't carry it very often because it's just very formal feeling and I'm not a formal person. So those are two bags that I don't carry a lot, but I don't see myself getting rid of yet. Okay, well now that you've watched the video or you've skipped through it, which please watch it, it's fun. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. I am so excited that you're here. I cannot wait to see my channel grow even more. The first 500, I actually just watched um, a couple of videos of other YouTubers just to kind of get an idea of how they handled their, you know, big milestones. And the first thousand is the hardest. Well, I'm halfway there. So guys, um, at a thousand, we'll do another giveaway. Um, I think that's really, really good. I think that's a great incentive. And I think it's super fun to get you guys all engaged. So now if you want to enter to win this giveaway, there's a few little rules. You do need to subscribe to me and you need to comment below. And you all know the love of my life is my little kitty diva. I need you in the comment section to use the name diva and I will put it here spelling. So there's no issues, um, but don't just put the word diva. 
I want you to put a comment and use the word diva. For example, oh, that third bag is so cute. It makes you look like a diva. Something like that. That way it's not obvious for people, you know, who just want to be part of the giveaway without actually subscribing or commenting or watching, you know, all that stuff. So do that, please. And then what I will do is I will comment on your video and I will provide you uh, my email address and you can email me your uh, contact information, mailing address, all the stuff so I can get the item sent to you. Now I can only ship in the US guys. I am sorry, I cannot ship international right now. Um, frankly, I don't even know how to do that really. So you do have to live in the United States. Um, that's pretty much the only rule. Subscribe to me, live in the United States and do the comment below using the secret word. And what I will do is uh, next week on the 14th, I have a collaboration coming out with um, the boys here on YouTube. It's exciting, you'll like it. Um, what I will do is on the 14th, so you're seeing this today, October 7th, 2023, on October 14th, 2023, I will comment, I will use an automatic generator to pull a comment with the keyword, and then I will comment on that comment with my email address so that the person can contact me. Um, I will give them 48 hours to contact me, um, and then I will do it again until someone finally contacts me. So, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe to my channel, comment below, let me know your thoughts, and go watch other YouTube videos. I'll tag a couple below that I have found for other creators who have made this video. And then I'm going to tag some people in here. I'm going to tag Autumn Beckman. I'm going to tag Winnie BLV. I'm going to tag Joshi. I'm going to tag Classics with a Quirk. I'm going to tag Caleb Snell. Um, I'm going to tag Toach Jean. A couple of these people probably already have videos. And as I'm just saying them, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen the videos. I watched so many videos for my vacation, guys. I got behind on videos. So I've been watching them, trying to catch up. So if you've already done it, you know, you don't have to do it again. Uh, you can even put your link below if I don't have your link. That way people can watch your video. Um, and if you are tagged and you're new, go ahead and do it. Oh, I'm also tagging Jack's Bag Attack. I don't know if she's done it yet, but I'd love to see this. So thank you so much for watching again. Uh, I will see you on the next video and have a good day. Bye.